Hello, this is James Gardner, the Sydney Tech Geek, with Clint from USL. And Clint's going to go over his new products for this year at CinemaCon 2013. So I'll, I'll put it over to you, Clint, and take it away. Thank you. Um, first product I'd like to talk about is what we call an LSS 100, which is a light and sound sensor. The actual product is over here. If you come to this side, the small little tube has a microphone inside of it so it will take sound pressure level readings. The tube over here is a lens with a sensor in the back side of it. It's not a captioning device so there's no piracy um, capabilities with this at all. It has two little LEDs on the inside. You turn them on, you shoot them at the screen, you focus in on it, lock it down. When you set up your projector and your sound system in the auditorium, you use this device to take a base reading. And with that base reading, you're then capable remotely of turning the projector on, the sound pressure, the, I mean the audio processor on, and taking readings every night to see if they how they compare. If something doesn't match up with the original base reading, we don't have a problem. We, need, we know we need to send a technician to the theater to fix that problem, whether it be audio or visual. So, so basically what you're saying, this, this tool allows you to basically do um, automated or, or remote um, QC of a cinema to check if it's all okay, so without having to send an engineer. Absolutely. It does um, the SPL, the sound pressure levels, it does white light, lumin luminosity, and it does chrom chromaticity, which is the red, green, and blue, the colors. So again, set up your projector, set up your audio, do the whole shot, take the base readings, store those, and then on a nightly basis or a weekly basis, whatever you choose, you can remotely check those auditoriums. So this is the software, it's actually running it right now, and again SPL levels, luminance levels, color levels, all of it in real time, and again the main thing I can't stress enough is it's not a camera. There is no captioning device inside that. It is only a sensor, so there is no possibility of piracy. We have over here what we call an RTM, which is a remote theater manager. Basically, these little iPods right here control the, um, control the projector, control the digital server, control the audio. You can connect in with the automation system. Um, here in the United States, there's been some change to what they call boothless cinemas, where the projector is up in the lair on a lift or up in a, a catwalk, not accessible by the projectionist very easily. This device allows you to turn the projector on, off, run the audio processor on and off, whatever it takes. You can control everything with an iPad or any type of smart device, smartphone. Um, the way we package this is we sell one license fee for the whole complex. We give you one of the de handheld devices with the application on it. You can then take that application and put it on as many other smart devices as you like and your staff can then control everything inside the auditorium remotely. You don't have to physically be next to the projector or the automation system or any of that. So it's all done remotely. We have a new audio processor right here. The single rack mount unit It's called a JSD60. Um, 5.1 audio or 7.1 audio. Um, when you run 7.1 you lose your two channels for HI and VI. We have a small box, which we'll see over there shortly, um, which actually is a two-channel D to A converter. brings you back those two channels. So if you're running at 7.1 audio, you can still get HI and VI with this little box right here, which is our USL DAX202. If you're running 5.1 audio with the JSD60, that's not necessary. Your HI and VI channels will still be there. We have a new booth monitor under here, which will be in production shortly, which is capable of remotely monitoring over Ethernet or wireless, which I'll be able to show you in a minute. Again, here we have audio monitoring over the network. Basically, the processor you saw a little bit ago is playing the movie that you can see on the screen back there through the projector. The audio is then being sent to this. Any laptop, any monitoring device like that can take the audio. So if the projectionist uh, gets told that there's a crackle in the center channel in Auditorium 3, he can pull it up remotely and take a look at it and listen to it to see if there is truly such um, a crackle or not.
I, I just want to make it clear here why that's a, a very unique and uh, interesting product because um, if there is an audio problem, uh, an engineer in a knock anywhere in the world over a network or VPN could theoretically check all the audio problems in the theatre from the knock. So that's a, a really good uh, innovation in, in this technology. Thank you for that. It all stems from the owner of the company. So um, here we have some older devices, uh, D to A converters, six channel, and uh, also six channel with multiple inputs. What I'm bringing you over here for is these are our closed caption um, eyewear, which uh, James had taped earlier on the program, so you can see that on a different video. Um, but the eyewear takes from the emitter panel over there on top of the projector, sends out infrared energy. The glasses have diodes inside of them, receivers that pick up that infrared energy, turn it back into captions which the patron would then see right inside the glasses. So as you're watching the movie, the text for closed caption is running right, right past you. It looks like it's floating about 15, 20 feet out in front of you. Along with that, we have our cup holder device. Pops into the cup holder, patron moves it to wherever they need it to be so they can see the captions inside the window. Um, again, infrared energy being picked up with the infrared receivers inside there. Um, along with that, we have our hearing impaired visual narration HIVI uh, headsets. Uh, simple flip of the switch right there. We'll turn on channel A or channel B where you will have either hearing impaired or visual narration. Um, and that's pretty much it for new innovations from USL for this year. Thank you.